Fela Falcha, Agus Lo Fela Hanedich. That means 100,000 welcomes and happy St. Patrick's Day in Gaelic. My name is Chef Diane Stopford, and this week what I'm going to do is show you how to cook up the ultimate St. Paddy's Day feast. And I'm talking real Irish food cooked by yours truly, a real Irish girl. What we have here is some beef and Guinness. That's my dad's recipe. Some Col Cannon some Irish soda bread with our lovely Irish cheeses and butter, and of course, all washed down with the perfect Irish coffee. There's no better dish to go with a nice big bowl of beef and Guinness other than Col Cannon. What Col Cannon is, of course, is a traditional base of mashed potatoes. Yes, we had to get them in somewhere, along with some kale and some onions simmered in milk with lots and lots of good Irish butter. So first thing I'm gonna do is I've got a pan here that's just got about a quarter of an inch of water simmering. I'm gonna add some salt, and I'm gonna add some kale, green kale or curly kale as call it at home. And I've just chopped that up roughly and I've de-stemmed it. So just put in the kale. We're just gonna steam that. So I'm just gonna put the lid on that and let it steam. That should only take a couple of minutes. Meanwhile, I have some milk here, some whole milk just simmering. And to that, I'm gonna add some nice finely sliced onions. And what the milk is gonna do is gonna cook the onions and give them a nice mellow flavor. So it's gonna get rid of that harsh onion flavor and just simmer it gently. You don't want your milk to burn because of course you don't want that burnt milk flavor in, in your Col Cannon. Now Col Cannon is a really traditional Irish dish. It's usually served around Halloween and you get a big steaming bowl of Col Cannon. And it's tradition that you hide either a ring or a coin in the Col Cannon. And whoever gets the ring or the coin, of course, is said that they're gonna get wealth or marriage within a year, whichever they want, I guess. What I have here is some potatoes that I've just boiled and mashed up, and you wanna give them a good mash and at this stage this is when I like to put in a good knob of butter and you see I have some Irish butter here and it's available in all the stores so there's no excuse for not using it it's a salted butter and you can see that bright yellow color on our butter and that is because of all the rain and bad weather we have in Ireland it produces so much grass that those happy cows get to eat all that grass all year long and thus the milk is very high in vitamin A and beta carotene, giving our yellow color to our lovely butter. Get a bit of muscle in there. You wanna get them nice and smooth. Make sure your potatoes are warm when you're also mashing them or else you will get them lumpy and they're not gonna absorb all that lovely butter. So you can see our kale is almost done here. It's still that lovely bright green color. So we're still retaining all those nutrients that we're getting from our our kale, all our folic acid and B vitamins. And I'm just gonna strain that off and let it drain. So our onions have simmered down in the milk and you can see they've become nice and soft. Um, I've just used a white onion here actually, but you could use um, scallions if you wanted, kind of the, the champ Ulster style potatoes, but a white onion's fine. A red onion, whatever onion you have. To finish off our call cannon, what I'm gonna do is just put a couple of spoonfuls of the onions in there and I'm just going to put in a couple of handfuls of our of our kale squeeze out all the the water and see how bright green great color that is another knob of the old butter won't go astray a little bit of salt and then we're just going to I just like to beat it up with with a wooden spoon I think it's the easiest thing to do it with and if you don't have kale, you can also use cabbage. And I'm just gonna pour in a little bit of our onion milk. Another little knob of butter just to melt on top. And there you have Col Cannon mashed potatoes. <laughs>